Hi, it's G Ruffle here from artyheaven.com. Um, I decided to do a quick live today because the weather is so hot. Um, we've got a heat wave here in the UK, which is quite unusual, and it's a really good opportunity to address one of the questions that I'm asked so often. Um, so if you don't know me, I'm an artist and I primarily paint with um, in, in a technique called encaustic, which means painting with hot beeswax um, or hot wax. And yeah, it's a question that everybody always asks me. It's like, isn't your wax going to melt in this heat and run down the walls? So it's a great opportunity to um, show you that no, it's not. It's all completely intact. Um, so let me kick off by turning this around. So I have got a, um, I've got my thermometer here and I've got a piece of, um, a small piece of artwork beside it, just it made it, it's a nice easy one. You can see nothing's kind of moving. So um, it's, it's about, th well, outside it's about 38 degrees in the shade here today. I'm not too far from Heathrow. I think they've just hit 41 earlier. Apparently I just saw on the news. Um, so you can see we're not sort of too far off, like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm probably about 36 in here here in my um, little room that I'm using for my studio currently. Um, but you can see nothing here is moving, melting, it's all still very solid. Um, my hot plate here, you know, yeah, the, the wax is softer than it would be usually, but you know, everything's still solid unless you go and dig your fingers in it, you know, it's not moving. And uh, so no, in answer, it's not running down the walls and um, yeah, it's not running down the walls and landing in a big puddle, which is what I think people always um, always think is going to happen. So yeah, all of my wax is, is still solid. Um, obviously in here, I'm inside in the shade and the, the figures quoted on the weather forecast are always in the shade figures. So I've actually been doing some testing outside in full direct sunlight on some in progress pieces. Um, and I was actually just outside doing the videos on them and my phone actually overheated and shut down because it was too hot for my phone. So I will share those. I've got lots of photographs, so I'll share those after. Um, but I think outside in full direct sunlight. So I had this uh, thermometer out there yesterday and in full direct sunlight, it was um, it was up sort of, it gone past the 50 degrees. So I had to get my hot plate thermometer outside to do a proper testing on it. And I think it's, I think it was just around about 60 degrees centigrade um, out there and the paintings are in full full sunlight which you don't recommend you ever do and leave any painting really in full sunlight but it's a great opportunity to test um, so I'll share those findings afterwards separately but um, yeah literally my phone just turned off because it was too hot out there anyway I just uh, it's just a very short quick um, jump on because it is one of the questions that I'm asked so often um, the, the quality of the waxes that I use there are different grades of beeswax um, or no there are different grades of wax um, beeswax already has quite a high melting point but the waxes that I use have additional um, resins added to them which raises the melting point um, and other kind of waxes that, that raises the melting point from there as well. So a lot, often things like candles, you'll see they they have much lower grade of waxes that they use for those. So um, and that's why these encaustic paintings are fine. Um, if you want to know any more about it, there's lots on my website, which is artyheaven.com or just drop me a message. I'm really happy to answer questions. Um, but yeah, so perfect opportunity in this heat to uh, to answer that question. Yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to...